Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you are doing well today. Look at Gila, she's like already looking up on the counter. Do you know what this stuff is right here? Hmm, let's take a look. We got some raw chicken, we got some raw organs, we got some eggs, some watermelons, some carrots, some zucchini, some blueberries, you got all this stuff. What is this supposed to be? You're probably wondering. Tonight we are going to be doing the very first video transitioning the Siberian Huskies to a raw diet. We're gonna be going over this over the next few days in videos for you so we can help you transition your Siberian Husky or your dog to a raw diet. Now we are beginners, so we're going to be all new to this, trying everything out, and we're gonna take you along for the ride. So we just wanted to go over this with you, show you everything we got prepared for tonight's very first dinner. Now it's important to note, we are going to be doing this cold turkey. We're gonna be switching them from kibble immediately to the raw food diet, just immediately. It's not going to be like we're gonna transition the foods like we would if we were switching the kibbles. We are going to just do this immediately. That's how it's going down. It's important to do it that way because when you are switching over to the raw food diet, it's important not to mix it with kibble. When you're mixing bone from inside of this chicken with kibble, it can do all sorts of bad stuff when they're mixed together inside your dog. So make sure you don't do that. Do it in one foul swoop. Make sure you just switch. So with that said, let's get to it. Come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out how to transition your pepperoni pizza or your Siberian Husky over to raw food. Are you ready? Are you ready, Freddy? Okay, let's get to it. Oh, Gila's so ready for that very first meal. She wants to eat that raw food. Yeah, she's like, ooh, I'm so sick of that dry kibble. I don't ever want to eat it again. <laughs> Look at that face. She's like, ooh, I am so excited. Daddy-o told me that I'm going to be eating some good old chicken tonight. So let's get to it. There's a whole bunch to get prepared. When it comes to raw feeding, there's a lot of responsibility involved. You have to make sure you take all the proper precautions. So let's get to the nitty gritty. What do you need to prep for when you're getting ready for the raw food diet. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so you're dealing with a whole bunch of raw ingredients here. We got raw chicken, we got raw organs, and you need to make sure that you're cleaning up everything super duper well. It's easy for bacteria and other sorts of grimy nastiness to get transitioned into your dog's stuff. So when you're dealing with raw eggs, when you're dealing with raw chicken, make sure you're washing your hands on a regular basis and make sure you disinfect your pepperoni pizza's bowl Make sure you get everything clean. Being responsible is step number one through ten when it comes to raw feeding. So now that you got that pat down and you got everything clean, your hands are washed and the bowls are disinfected, we can get ready to clean this chicken down, clean the eggs off, and get all of our supplies crystal clean. Let's do it!
Oh, you guys excited? Are you guys excited? All right, so what we got right here, all cut up and prepared, are a little bit of blueberries, some watermelon chunks, we got some carrots, and we got some zucchini. Ooh, Gila's like, I am so excited. These are all the non-meat, non-egg essentials that are gonna be going into these bowls right now. So now that we've cut them all up and they're ready to go, let's go ahead and place them in the bowls before we cut up all the deliciousness meatness. You guys ready? No, not you, the audience. All right, we got all of our meats and proteins ready to go. We're gonna go over exactly what they are right now. What you're looking at right here is just your basic eggs. Then over here we have some chicken leg quarters. Now chicken legs are important because they do have bone and meat and both bone and meat are important. You don't wanna be feeding your dog cooked bone, only raw bone. So the bone that's in this chicken is super importante. Going on to the right, we got organs which are an essential part of your dog's raw diet as well gizzards right here on the bottom and then chicken necks up here at the top so we're gonna be giving them one chicken gizzard one chicken neck and one chicken leg quarter and then we're also gonna give them one egg and we are going to include the shell super important that you clean the egg mega mega well with soap and water make sure you clean your chicken legs run them under hot water as well you want to make sure you get all of the dirty stuff off when you're getting it ready for your pup so let's go ahead get all this stuff cleaned up and add it to our bowls of delicious goodness. All right, these pepperoni pizzas are ready to eat and we just finished getting all the meat and all the eggs clean. Let's come over here and check out all of what we cleaned. We got two chicken necks, two chicken gizzards, two delicious eggs, and two chicken quarter pieces. So we're about to put them in the bowls and get them ready for the pepperonis for their very first raw feeding session. All right, here are our super duper clean sterile bowls with all of our fruits and veggies in them. And all we gotta do now is add that delicious protein. 
get that leg in there, and then we're gonna smash the egg into all of that. Put it all, ooh yeah, look at that. Yumminess. Spread the egg around a little bit. There you go, there you go. It's like finger painting. There we go, that chicken leg right there. Get our chicken neck, our gizzard. Break that last egg. And smush it all over the place. Ooh, Hila is mega excited. What is that, girl? Is that your brand new way of eating dinner? Are you gonna have a gourmet dinner tonight? Oh, ho, 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 ho. what is that goodness? That is good. Are you ready to eat it? All right, now that we got these bowls all ready to go, now that they're filled with the goodness, we gotta do is put them on the floor and let our Siberian Huskies get used to their brand new way of eating. Are you ready to be done with that kibble forever and ever and ever? That really, really nasty stuff? All right, let's go ahead and try our brand new diet.
All right, so, so far Britney Spears has done the best when it comes to this brand new diet. I mean, there's a little bit of a mess around him. There's a couple things here and there where he has spilled, but he has completely eaten all of the meat, the entire egg. He ate all of that chicken, so he is doing really well really enjoying this diet. As for Gila over here, she has completely dismantled her entire meal and she still hasn't even busted into her chicken leg over there. I think she thinks that this is really weird and she's like, oh my goodness, what are all these weird, gross vegetables you're trying to feed me instead of my beloved kibble? Well, we just wanna let you guys know a whole bunch of crazy, weird stories have been coming out about kibble. Every year that goes by, kibble just becomes worse and worse when it comes to doggos. Dogs are getting really sick, getting all sorts of bad stuff in their diet when they're eating kibble. So it's about time that we switch over to the raw diet. Now, we don't recommend and just anybody do this. You need to do your homework. You have to be responsible. And when your doggo is ready, we've been waiting for about a year to get into this. Both of our pups are over a year old. They've both been raised on kibble. And now it's about time that we made the transition over to raw. We want to just reinforce the fact that it does take a lot of responsibility, a lot of planning. You have to take your dog's weight into consideration. Make sure you know all the different vitamins and minerals that they're getting in the foods that you're feeding them. And as long as you read up and you research, you should be good to go. But make sure you do adequate research when you're trying to figure out if the raw diet is right for you. So that's going to be it from us tonight. We are going to head out, but we're going to have a continuation of this entire raw food transition tomorrow and talk to you guys exactly how the transition went, what their poop is looking like, what kind of changes are being made, and all of that. So don't miss an episode. Go ahead, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any of our amazing adventures switching over to raw food. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. We really, really appreciate you, and we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yep, you guessed it. Whatever we make. Peace! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Time to finish the raw food. Yeah!